proud to announce that my plan from the previous video didn't work, but reverse psychology did, so I still have 201 subscribers. Here's something I'm not so proud to announce. I promised you a video, and I did film it, and then, instead of editing it, I accidentally deleted it. I'm sorry. <laughs> In that last video, I shared with you my experience of looking for a job. Basically, its point was that being unexperienced, just yesterday from school, my first worry was that I'm going to be rejected everywhere. But it proved to be not the only problem and not even the biggest problem. Well, yes, it did happen occasionally, but most of the time I wasn't rejected. I was ignored. People wouldn't answer your mails or call you back. They wouldn't do it, they would just ignore my application. And after the interview, most of them would tell you that they will only call you back if they want you. But some of them tell you that they will call you anyway. Just, you know, to be polite. To save your time and nerves, right? But guess what? They never do. What's wrong? Do they expect me to start crying on the phone or cursing them and their families? Come on! Another difficulty is that when looking for a job you have to make a lot of quick decisions. And I'm not always good at that. When you see a job ad, it's better to respond as quickly as possible. So I put off everything I was doing and and start composing my cover letter and edit my CV. Then, the next day, when you are in the middle of something, sitting in the bus or watching your favorite crime series, you get a call. Well, sure, you answer the phone and then you answer a lot of random questions, intriguing questions and personal questions and then, during the interview, you might be asked how soon will you be able to start working. And while answering all these questions your potential employers have for you, you have to answer your own question. Is it something I want to do? Do I like this company? Do I like this place? Do I have the skill and right personality for it? Well, fair enough, I'm not in school anymore. I guess the time has come when I can't live in my own place anymore and have to make a lot of quick and quite serious decisions. But above all, the problem with looking for a job is simply that you can't find a desirable position. Of course, it is never too late to change the way you are going, but I like my first full-time job to give me some really useful experience, something that will make me more attractive as an employee next time. And you know, very few companies are ready to take unexperienced employees and teach them and help them develop. That's understandable, but that's a real problem for me. But despite all these problems, I got a job. By the time you'll see this video, I would probably have finished my first week at this new job. I'm a project manager in a translation company, and it's actually quite challenging and involves a lot of multitasking and being very attentive to have eyes and ears for everything that's happening around me. The first day was overwhelming, just too much information, more than one person can handle. The second day was better because I actually was allowed to do some actual job rather than just looking around and trying like, to comprehend everything that I see and hear. And for me it is a bit like, easier to learn in practice. Well, it's too early to judge if I pass well for this job and if the job suits me, but we'll see and I'll keep you updated on my life and on that matters. So thank you so much for your time. Bye!